Oh, I love my little intro. That's nicely compiled together. Especially certain key points of it. A little bit of Ross in there. God, God bless his little autistic heart. Our uh, our stream is um uh it's a basically um uh it's a, um uh it's basically um I'm gonna start. So basically um uh first of all basically um uh basically um uh um uh um uh basically and the most first of all basically um uh I have to say is that um uh I don't know first of all um uh how come like um uh I yeah sorry I'm with autism I don't know how to use words that well so um uh. Oh just touched by the angels oh he's he's got divine intervention over him chat he's a protective good boy he's a good boy that didn't do nothing who i think is probably currently in police custody or at least on the run i don't know where he is right now hopefully not near any children or any open bathtubs we can all pray for that we can all pray that our bathtubs go unmolested <laughs> oh i gotta say I love a good PR disaster. There's nothing better than watching a company completely shoot itself in the fucking foot. And there have been some doozies over the years, especially if you're into gaming. I mean, we've seen the shit shows that EA itself has caused, the numerous ones that it's caused, uh, microtransactions and everything, uh, going super woke with their uh, their fictional history narrative. But those, those are almost pale in comparison to what we're watching now because Blizzard's found a way to piss off everybody. It's a rare thing indeed when you can piss off essentially every person on Earth by doing something so monumentally fucking dumb that everybody kind of comes together in agreement and says, wow, Blizzard's a pretty shitty company run by fucking inept morons that don't know what they do. Alan, what are you doing? Oh, we've got we've got a lot of fun stuff to go over. Now, when this initially started, a few days ago, everybody's wondering, how's Blizzard going to respond? What's going to happen next? How is it going to play out? And it just keeps getting worse and worse and worse. I, I didn't even know it was possible, but they found a way to continually fuck it up. I mean, bravo, give them a round of applause. It's hard to be this stupid. But Blizzard's really knocking it out of the fucking park. I thought that Blizzard, uh, when they did their little Diablo mobile announcement, was bad enough, but no. Now they've won up themselves. They've really, they've really gone above and beyond to give us our entertainment. Hopefully, we're going to be able to stretch this out up until BlizzCon, because that's when the real shit show is going to go down. I'll give a, I suppose, a small summary of everything that's happened over the past few days till we get to all the new things that they've done that make them look fucking retarded. Of course, there was the initial banning. We all saw that the Hearthstone player banned for, for saying "Liberate Hong Kong, Revolution of Our Age." Blizzard wasn't content just to ban him. How dare he say that? What uh, what horrible hate speech that is. Liberate Hong Kong. No, they had to get rid of the casters too. Fired both of them. No longer allowed to associate with the Blizzard brand or any of its products or IPs. Now, there's a video floating around of one of the casters crying. Like, completely fucked up crying about this. Saying that that was his livelihood. They've destroyed him. All because they let one guy say two sentences on their podcast. So bravo, Blizzard. Just uh, <coughs> just taking names, aren't you? And that, that, by the way, was the only thing he said uh, that they found offensive. Well, I shouldn't say Blizzard found offensive. I should say their masters found uh, uh, offensive. You know, the boys back in Shanghai didn't like it when our little Hearthstone player got up there and decided to say... <laughs> <laughs> oh, how are we ever going to survive that? How are we ever going to survive these terrible things? Now, people are wondering, why would Blizzard care? Why would they ban these people? What would the possible reasons be behind that? Money. Tencent, uh, which is a Chinese company, the biggest video game company in the world, owns numerous portions of numerous companies, owns a 5% stake in Blizzard itself. But, of course, it's not the amount they own. There are two things, there are two big factors that really play here. One is the 12% of revenue the entire company gets from that region. <laughs> the other would be that our boy Bobby, Bobby Kotick, head of Activision Blizzard, our little pudgy cherub of a CEO, wants to release some mobile games over there and he needs Chinese approval to do it. Mark Kern and others have been commenting that if an American company wants to do business in China, 
doesn't just have to suck dick and follow the law. It needs a Chinese partner to do it. And if those Chinese partners aren't happy with what you're doing, you're not going to get the okay to do what you want to do. And this is why we see things like Tencent and NetEase and others partnering with Blizzard and Activision to do things over there. Now, I saw Streamlabs come through in regards to our boy Bobby wanted me to bring this up. And you know what? Why not? Don't want people to forget that Jeffrey Epstein was murdered to keep it a secret what he knew. But apparently, our boy Bobby, our boy Bobby took a few plane flights out to the fun island of Mr. Epstein. Coming in from HTRTU through Streamlabs, Activision Blizzard CEO Bobby Kotick was found in the leaks of Jeffrey Epstein's Little Black Book. And what do you know, that's actually true. The name was misspelled. I think they spelled it Bobby Kotick. But it doesn't really matter because the email address matched up. It was one from Activision itself. And the story that was reporting on it was well before this. So it wasn't like somebody's having a bit of a laugh. Having a little bit of a giggle by shitting on Mr. Bobby. Now apparently our boy likes to go on uh, wild adventures on Mr. Epstein's island. I don't know. I can't comment on what he's doing on the island or how he knows Mr. Epstein or their relationship. Again, Mr. Epstein is dead. After committing a triple suicide a somersault from the top of his bunk bed in a maximum security prison using dental floss as a noose while both the security guards fell asleep and all the security cameras malfunctioned. Totally normal. Happens every day. I don't think that's suspicious at all. But nonetheless, Bobby apparently knew him. So don't want to forget that, that amazing piece of this entire story. Now, the last stream we did, which was a couple of days ago, kind of covering the initial upsurge of all this fun stuff, uh, we found out a couple things. One, Blizzard is uh, a bitch of a company. They have no they have no spine. They suck Chinese dick because they want those Chinese dollary dues. We also learned that Chinese can't take a fucking joke. We're talking super thin-skinned motherfuckers. And these people cannot handle being made fun of. A case in point would be a clip we watched last time. I'm going to play it again. I think it highlights it quite well. Remember, Taiwan number one. I have a friend that, that that's actually actually Taiwan number one. Uh, HK Alex Yo. Investigation and uh, Taiwan number one. And he told me about something about like. Taiwan number one. Taiwan number one. The same guy. Taiwan number one. Yo, I yeah, that's me. <laughs> yep. Taiwan number one, fuck you. China number four. <laughs> Japan number two, Taiwan number one. Oh my god, Chinese number one. So you can tell they, they are a little bit thin-skinned. <laughs> they, uh, they act like 10-year-olds in Minecraft. Can't really handle the banter. Reminds me of those Xbox Live trolling videos that used to be popular on YouTube back in like 2011. Where some kid would scream his head off and his mother would take the controller away. Kind of like that. But uh, that kind of brings us up to... Up to speed, I think. You, you get the gist of it. I'm sure people have been paying attention. They've seen what's going on. Now, a lot of people have a gripe with it about the Hong Kong protests. Everybody's like, oh, it's politics. It's politics. So this is more about an American company letting a foreign power dictate to it how it behaves. We saw that with the NBA. We saw that happen with South Park uh, getting banned all over China, getting removed from the Internet. Apple's bent the knee. Google has bent the knee, removing apps and different software that uh, people in Hong Kong are using, whether they're video games or something else. It's whatever China tells them to take down, because that's a big market, and people don't want to lose that big market. But Blizzard, Blizzard outshines them all. It's so desperate for those dollars, it's so desperate for that in, that it's willing to do what it's told. So a lot of things have happened since our last stream. Let's, let's go over them. Oh, Chad, I think you're going to be happy. Well, there's a lot of initial anger, I'm sure you can imagine. Gamers, we like to rise the fuck up, okay? 
That's how we, Veronica, all right, Stacy, all right, I'm, I'm here to slaughter the chance. I'm here to tell you about gamers rising up. Well, they don't, they don't take too kindly to be told what to do. So uh, it started some things. People wanted to delete their co- accounts in protest, weren't able to do it. Started getting messages like this. Due to too many attempts, email codes have been locked. <laughs> Please try another method for verification. Hey, I'm sorry. We're not going to let you delete your account. Oh, your email's locked. You're going to have to send us a government ID. We, we, we want to know what you look like and where you live. Even if you signed up for your account without using an ID, to delete your account, we're demanding an ID. Us, the company that's bent the knee to China. <laughs> we want to know who you are because our bosses in Shanghai are upset. This led people to try to be innovative. Think outside the box. Use those gamer skills that they've built up to really figure a workaround to this problem. It's a real predicament, a fucking sphinx riddle, isn't it? So they started being very subtle about it. Changing their gamer tags, going to Blizzard and asking for names like Free Hong Kong, please, and Taiwan number one. Blizzard apparently wasn't very thrilled with this either. They decided, uh, no. (laughs) <laughs> We're not going to let you do that. Unable to delete their accounts. Unable to change their fucking username in protest. Not wanting to give Blizzard and the Chinese their fucking photo ID. Along with all the banking information they already have. They decided to get a little more clever about it. Now, <laughs> I can't tell you what agent was typing. But I can read the conversation for you. One brave gamer... Decided to do it. The crazy motherfucker said the word. Contacted Blizzard support. You can see the tail end of what Blizzard was saying there. Uh, the deletion process may take up to 30 days to process as outlined on the associated support article. And there isn't a way to speed that up. Our gamer having enough. No more bottom text for this motherfucker. Responds. Delete it right now. Or I'm going to reinstall all your games. And call everyone nigger 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 until you permanently ban me. So save us both some time and push that fucking button. Oh, Chang is not happy about that. I don't know. I don't know, chat. What do you think? What do you think Agent was typing? What What do you think was going through Agent's mind as they're being held at gunpoint by the N-word? Oh, those fucking clowns. Those goddamn fucking clowns are threatening me with the N-word again. Somebody get my boss. Somebody get Alan on the phone. I don't know how to handle this. Lots of people using lots of clever solutions. But still having difficulty deleting their accounts. So, couldn't delete it outright. Couldn't use the multiple methods to delete it. Couldn't change their name to what they wanted to change it to. Decided decided to rise up and threaten those motherfuckers with the N-word. We'll never know the end of this story. I wish them the best, hopefully... Hopefully, they got what they wanted. Still, people were very upset, as you can imagine. I mean, my God, this fucking company. So, how about a good old-fashioned book burning? One of the top posts on the subreddit discussing this, or one of the subreddits discussing this, is a prior U.S. Marine who fought for freedom. Your actions make me sick. Goodbye, Blizzard. 60,000 up. Burning all those video games. Well, I could have told him right off the bat that Diablo 3 should have been thrown in the fire before this. You don't need a controversy to burn that piece of shit. <laughs> I can't really give you a hot take on the other ones. But the Redditors were mad. Not just the Redditors. Not just the Blizzard account holder, er, holders. The rest of the internet decided they wanted to have a little bit of fun too. And less than, I swear to God, in the span of 12 hours, Blizzard Entertainment went from a video game publisher and developer located in California to the proud owner of a Chinaware shop in Beijing. (laughs) If you were to look up Blizzard on Google, you would be told that it's a Chinaware uh, store. And if you were to ask, where is Blizzard Entertainment based? Well, you'd be told that it's based both in Irvine, California, as well as Beijing, China. (laughs) Oh... It's got to sting a little, huh, Blizzard? Took them 12 hours to do that. 
little search engine optimization. I'm sure they weren't too thrilled about it. But if you want some nice Chinaware, may I recommend Blizzard Entertainment? Hop on a plane, fly out to Beijing. They love to sell things to you. Other corners of the internet, of course, had their uh, opinions on what's going on. Even Something Awful decided to rename their subforum dedicated to Blizzard to Free Hong Kong. So if you wanted to talk about, I don't know, StarCraft or Diablo, and you're a, a Something Awful goon, feel free to swing by Free Hong Kong to talk about it to your heart's content. Even the Blizzard forums decided that they had had enough of this shit and started creating just all sorts of threads. Like, liberate Hong Kong, our five demands from Blizzard. Is Blizzard owned by the CCP? Uh, personally, my favorite. I need some medical advice. I have no spine. Who better to ask than Blizzard? Surely they can appreciate that condition. Being the spineless fucks that they are, I'm sure they can help you cope with that life issue. Even their Twitch channel, which is showing, I think, Hearthstone right now. I don't know what the fuck they're showing over there. But if you were to go take a look at their chat... <laughs> All you'll see is this shit that's it's overwhelmed their moderation staff to the point that they can't even deal with it anymore. Spam this lizard to boycott Blizzard. Spam this Pong, let's free Hong Kong. <laughs> They're just getting shit on everywhere. And the funniest thing, I think, in regards to this was the idea that they were people were going to take May from Overwatch and try to turn it into a protest symbol. To get that banned in China. I mean, it should work, right? Chinese censors can't take a fucking joke. Look at Winnie the Pooh here. Our our uh, little leader of China does not like being compared to him. Made the bear illegal. Well, if you associate May with Hong Kong, maybe you can get May made to be illegal. And it looks like it's starting to catch on, apparently. As people in Hong Kong are not printing out posters of fucking May fighting for her little rights. Our... Our fat, our thick woman, our thick little ice queen starting to pop, uh, pop up on poster art in subways and everywhere else. Not sure how long that's going to take. Coincidentally, by the way, just mere coincidence. Let me put enough brackets around that. It turns out that uh, if you were to go to the Blizzard shop to buy a May statue that was available just two days ago, the page has now completely disappeared. Not selling those May statues anymore. I don't know if that has anything to do with this, but there you go. Just beautiful. And I like the fact that Blizzard has really co-signed its name with this. Because you can't, you can't, everybody talking about this fucking controversy, it comes back to Hong Kong. Regardless of what your thought is on that, Blizzard's made itself seem like they're, they're very anti-Hong Kong liberation. So when you start to see headlines like this, remember, that's what Blizzard's co-signing. The arrest of 750 children. Article asked Blizzard for comment. They responded, fuck them. They, <laughs> fuck them. They, uh, they don't play our games. We don't care. Those 750 children, those 750 children, they played Fortnite. They can go do their little floss dance in a prison cell. We don't care. <laughs> fuck them. Now, multiple people have started to comment about what's going on with Blizzard. With the, the entire shit show, everybody's trying to delete accounts or they're posting jokes or shitting on Blizzard. Uh, one of the people commenting was the U.S. Uh, college, university? I don't know. It was a Hearthstone team. They wanted to see what would happen if they did a similar statement to what this guy did. Right? They wanted to see if they got political on a stream playing in a tournament, what would happen to them. So here's what they did. It's game over. That it is. The suspense won't last any longer. They do draw the second divine spirit. Nothing happened to them. They had to boycott. They had to ban themselves, essentially, and say, we're going to step out of it. So it, it, it's interesting that our boy got himself uh, in a shit ton of trouble and got banned and had his money taken away. And yet here's somebody doing the same thing. Nothing happens to them. Not a fucking thing, except for the camera pulls away because they're obviously not wanting to deal with this. One of the more interesting things about all this shit going on are some of the responses from developers and uh, other platforms, uh, one of which is Epic. Now, I know a lot of people don't trust Epic. I don't blame you. I wouldn't trust them either. But they're sure enjoying the moment by making a lot of grandiose statements uh, regarding what's going on with Blizzard. Here's their CEO, Tim Sweeney. These are good principles for companies to follow in their words and actions. 
What I feel the world needs is a new principle that companies don't decide what customers can say, and customers don't speak for companies. Without this principle, every controversial statement by an individual will escalate into a geopolitical dispute. One side will be offended and call for the company to punish the individual, and the other side will see that as censorship and be offended. I think a healthier view is that individuals are solely responsible for their own statements. If a gamer says something offensive, one should judge or criticize the gamer, but should not pressure companies or platforms to punish them. He follows that up a little later on with, They may have the legal right to do this. But when a company makes itself the speech police, it will be blamed for everything users say that isn't censored, and will be pressured to censor every group that disagrees with what the user says. That is an untenable position to hold in 2019. I, do, I feel like I've stepped into bizarro world. Tim Sweeney's been given hot takes now for the last four days. Now, Epic hasn't been put into a position where they have to back any of this up. But he's basically saying, fuck it. Let him say what he wants to say, and if you got a problem with it, go bitch at him. Don't, don't come crying to us to ban people, you fucking pussies. We're not the speech police. But that is the CEO of fucking Epic saying that shit. Amazing to me. But Blizzard, not content with just making everybody's life miserable by not allowing them to delete their fucking accounts, not uh, content with pissing off half the country and getting negative press around the world, decided they were going to go the extra mile and copy the NBA. A coach in Blizzard's Overwatch League was told to delete a tweet condemning the company for censoring an esports competitor from Hong Kong. How, how are you this bad? How are you this bad at running your shit, Blizzard? What, what, what made you think this was the right fucking approach to take? So you see what's going on with the NBA. You see the shit they got for making one of their coaches, or whatever the fuck he was, to delete a tweet about Hong Kong. Now you're forcing people in your fucking shitty little esports league to delete tweets criticizing your dumb fucking decisions. It's just, they keep doubling down. And you're going to see a really good example of that in a minute when we get to Blizzard's statement. Because it just goes off the fucking rails. You're, you're not letting your consumers delete their account. You're making it extra difficult for them to do it. You're asking for more information to delete the account than was needed to create the account. You're, you're banning people for political speech and then saying it's not influenced by foreign nations when clearly it is, when you're clearly being told by other countries to do what you're doing. And now here you are taking a book or a page out of the book from the NBA and you're, you're telling your esports competitors... <laughs> fucking coach for one of your leagues. They need to delete tweets because you don't like what they said. Are you going to ban them too? Are you going to kick them out for a year? You spineless little fucks. And let's be clear. They are spineless little fucks. This has been going around, this particular screen cap from a Chinese social media site that's, you know, the account is owned by Blizzard. Uh, here it is. This is what allegedly is being saying, or said from the Hearthstone official account. We are very angered and disappointed at what happened at the event last weekend and highly object to the expression of personal political beliefs in any of our events. As always, we will defend the pride and dignity of China at all costs. <laughs> we, oh, hey, Blizzard here. You know, that American video game company. <laughs> we will defend China at all costs. Just beautiful. What clown world shit is this? Well, you know, let's. It, it gets worse. It keeps getting worse. It doesn't stop there. Of course, it can't stop there. Why could it? No, there's got to be more. Let's take a look. <laughs> let's let's start with this. Let's take a look at Blizzard's statement. Uh, and compare it to this one. Remember, we will always defend the pride and dignity of China at all costs. Oh, fucking gamers, who do you think you are threatening us? Threatening us with the N-word. For the glory of China, we will teach you a lesson. Okay, Blizzard, calm down. <laughs> calm the fuck down. Now, Blizzard waited, of course, to the very last minute to release their statement. Now, they wanted to make sure everybody had gone home for the weekend so they wouldn't get a ton of shit for it. But we're going to read through it. So let's uh, let's pull this up. 
This was posted uh, late last, well, not late last night, but yesterday, uh, probably later in the evening. Regarding last weekend's Hearthstone Grandmaster Tournament, hello, Blizzard community. I want to take a few minutes to talk to all of you about the Hearthstone Grandmasters Tournament this past weekend. On Monday, we made the decision to take action against a player named Bichung and two shoutcasters after the player shared his views on what's happening in Hong Kong on our official broadcast channel. At Blizzard, our vision is to bring the world together through epic entertainment, and we have core values that apply here. Think globally, lead responsibly, and importantly, every voice matters. Encouraging everybody to share their point of view. The actions that we took over the weekend are causing people to question if we still are committed to these values. We absolutely are, and I will explain. Our esports program are an expression of our vision and our values. Esports exist to create opportunities for players from around the world, from different cultures and different backgrounds, to come together to compete and share their passion for gaming. It is extremely important for us to protect these channels and the purpose they serve, to bring the world together through epic entertainment. I love that. Is that their buzzword? Epic entertainment. It's twice now they've said that. Celebrate our players and build diverse and inclusive communities. As to how to apply those values in this case, first, our official esports tournament broadcast was used as a platform for a winner of the event to share his views with the world. We interview competitors who are at the top of their craft to share how they feel. We want to experience that moment with them. Hearing their excitement is a powerful way to bring us together. Over the weekend, Blitz uh, used his segment to make a statement about the situation in Hong Kong in violation of our rules. He acknowledged and understood. And this is why we took our uh, we took action. Every voice matters. And we strongly encourage everyone in our community to share their viewpoints and the many places available to express them. However, the official broadcast needs to be about the tournament and to be a place where all are welcome. In support of that, we want to keep the official channels focused on the game. Second, what is the role of shoutcasters for these broadcasts? We hire them to amplify the excitement of the game. They elevate, or elevate the watchability and help the esports viewing experience stay focused on the tournament and our amazing players. Third, where are, where are our actions based on the content of the message? Part of thinking globally, leading responsibly, and every voice matters is recognizing that we have players and fans in almost every country. Our goal is to help players connect in areas of commonality, like their passion for our games and create a sense of shared community. These specific views expressed were not a factor in the decision we made. <laughs> okay, this is probably my favorite paragraph in the whole thing. I want to be clear. Our relationship in China had no influence on our decision. Hey, hey guys. <laughs> I want to be clear here. It had nothing to do. I don't know what you guys are talking about. I've never, I don't even know where Beijing is. Shanghai, what is that? Is that a Jackie Chan movie? I've never heard of it. Ch what China? No, I eat my I eat my food on paper plates. I don't use that fancy. Oh, you're talking about a country? I've never heard of it. China. We have these rules to keep the focus on the game and on the tournament to the benefit of our global audience. And that was the only consideration, the actions we took. If this had been the opposing viewpoint delivered in the same divisive and deliberate way, we would have felt and acted the same. Okay, what could Blizzard have done better? And where do we go from here? Over the past few days, many ca uh, players, casters, esport fans, and employees have expressed concerns about how we determine the penalties. We've had a chance to pause, to listen to our community, and to reflect on what we could have done better. In hindsight, our process wasn't adequate, and we reacted too quickly. We want to ensure that we maintain a safe and inclusive environment for all our players, and that our rules and processes are clear. All this in the service of another important Blizzard value. Play nice. Play fair. <clears throat> in the tournament, Blitz played fair. We now believe that he should receive his prizing. Now, just I want, listen to this. We now believe he should receive his prizing. We now believe he should receive his prizing. Does that sound weird to anybody? Because you're just remember that sentence. We understand that for some, this is not about the prize. And perhaps for others, it is disrespectful to even discuss it. That is not our intention. But playing fair also includes appropriate pre- and post-match conduct, especially when a player accepts 
recognition for winning in a broadcast. When we think about the suspension, six months for a blitz is more appropriate, after which time he can compete in the Hearthstone Pro Circuit again if he chooses. There is, there is a consequence for taking the conversation away from the purpose of the event and disrupting or derailing the broadcast. With regard to the casters, remember, their purpose is to keep the event focused on the tournament. That didn't happen here. And we are setting their sus uh, suspension to six months as well. Moving forward, we will continue to apply tournament rules to ensure our official broadcast remains focused on the game and not a platform for divisive social or political views. One of our goals at Blizzard is to make sure that every player, everywhere in the world, regardless of their political views, religious beliefs, race, gender, or any other consideration, always feel safe and welcome, both competing in and playing our games. At Blizzard, we are always listening and finding ways to improve. It is part of our culture. Thank you for your patience with us as we continue to learn. Sincerely, J. Allen Brack, president of Blizzard Entertainment. Oh, what a, oh my God. They, they, what, how could you be mad at that? Oh, listen to that. Oh, we're only going to punish them for six months? We're going to give them his money. We're going to give them their money. Shut up, everybody. <laughs> They've only been suspended for six months. Listen to J. Allen Brack, president of Blizzard Entertainment over here. Talking about winning their prizing. What a weird sentence. What a weird way to structure that sentence. <clears throat> now, as I said, this uh, statement was released yesterday on the 11th. Uh, late, late in the afternoon, early evening on the 11th. Some people kind of noticed something about the, the date on this particular thing. Uh, because when you read the article itself, it's dated for October 12th, not the day that it was released. It was, it was dated for the day after. That's weird. Why? <laughs> Why would this be uh, dated for October 12th? What time was it in Beijing? Oh, 9 in the morning? You don't mean to tell me that, that J. Allen Brack didn't write this award-winning bullshit letter, and in fact it was written by one of the Chinese associates at Blizzard, Probably somebody working at either Tencent or Netties? No, that couldn't be it. <laughs> it couldn't be that Blizzard outsourced their bullshit apology to the Chinese. Well, I know that's a lot to take on faith. I mean, you could try to explain away the date. You could, you could explain it away a few ways, I suppose. But uh, here's an interesting take on the, you know, in regards to the, the wording that we saw. I mean, remember, when we were reading that, some of that stuck out as just odd to me. Some of the, the phrasing stuck out, at least to me, is odd. But I'm not an English major. What would I know? So let's find out what an English <laughs> major, uh, a bilinguist, had to say on this. Uh, this is from Boo Bell, apparently on Twitter. I've been keeping quiet out of fear, but as an English major and a Chinese speaker, I feel like I need to point out, uh, since I know many people won't know enough to explain. This Blizzard post seems like it was written by a Chinese non-native English speaker. Before I go into this, I want to point out that the tone and language is all over the place. Some are more native English uh, phrases, English native phrases. Others seem more typical for China, which makes me think there's some cobbling together here. In CN, it is very common to use ellipses and spaces uh, and space them out like this. This just doesn't happen in English. Usually this starts in the first person and uses uh, casual contractions. Uh, what's happening? Contractions don't exist in CN. So using them in formal situation is a common error. This structuring and Chinese writing, it's typical to add what an English teacher might call topic sentences at the beginning and the end of a paragraph. This isn't conventional and sounds very heavy handed in English. In the same vein, headers containing incomplete clauses and rhetorical questions before paragraphs are common in Chinese, but clunky in English. For an OW example, look at uh, Crystal Callout. Also, why are Blizz parts indented? Doesn't it look like it was copied and pasted? The header, okay, makes it obvious that there are two voices here. Minimum. Whoever wrote this and whoever wrote the indi or indented statements. Copy and pasting official Bliss statements is even weirder. Is there an official Bliss statement? Why are we getting it in a wrapper? When we get into the long section where the grammatical indicators become apparent, using when we think about instead of the present participle, thinking, or else, or something else, be, uh, because think isn't really the best word here. It's too personal for a statement. It's another Chinese sign. And Chinese verbs don't take on different conjugations. E.g. think is just think. To indicate time, it looks when, uh, when I think, I think back, I once think, not thought. Think, word serves the purpose of ing, 
because words like thought and thinking just don't exist. So using we, uh, when we think about, uh, which is kind of awkward and unfitting, instead of looking back on, considering our, etc., is a red flag. In the same vein with why, uh, uh, in the same vein why with regard to, instead of regarding is not just wrong, it's weird. Also, there are no plurals, no dogs or cats, only dog or cat. See, there is a consequence, instead of the phrasing, there are consequences. That's everything that immediately pops out to me. If I find anything else weird, I'll add it on. So why is this statement like this? It's not a vocal recording of J. Allen Brack. Here's what he sounds like. If it's not him, then who is it? Why would a non or non-native English speaker, why didn't PR edit this? What's going on? So is it possible, as insane as it sounds, <laughs> Blizzard, who loves the taste of Chinese dick, dealing with a PR disaster, unsure of how to handle it, <laughs> banned a guy because China told them to ban him, and then instead of coming out with their own statement on how to handle it, had Shanghai write their PR statement with its fucked up broken English and <laughs> release it in the wrong time zone for an American audience. I don't know, Chad. You tell me. Are we in crazy town? <laughs> Are we in fucking crazy town? Did Blizzard do that? I'm waiting. I'm waiting for chat to catch up. I'm sorry. There is a minor delay. Uh, a small, a small delay. <laughs> With the shit show. Oh, my God. What are you doing, Blizzard? Oh, they love the taste of that Chinese dick. Oh, give us, give us that money. We want that money. Fuck freedom. We may be an American company, but we're going to let communists write our fucking PR statements. How embarrassing for Alan. Alan, what are you doing? Did you... Okay, let's be fair here. Maybe he had brain gen, or like a brain injury before he came into work. Like maybe Bobby Kotick in a fit of rage hit him with a fucking golf iron. <laughs> you know, like, you're fucking up Call of Duty for me. That mobile release is important, Alan. Just smacks him in the head and then Alan, half retarded, writes that statement. Or the Chinese wrote it and Alan has to act like that was his brilliant PR statement. I'm seeing a lot of yeses. I'm seeing a lot of people in chat say, yes, that sounds like what's going on. It sounds like what's happening here. A lot of fuck Chinas. I'm, I'm with you on that. Fuck China. What are you doing, China? <laughs> oh, oh, how embarrassing. Alan, 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 what the fuck are you doing? <sighs> shameful. <laughs> Just shameful. Uh, but it gets funnier. Now, this disaster that's been going on for the last three or four days, it's funny. But you have to understand, BlizzCon is coming up. BlizzCon is, is the little mecca of Blizzard fans. Oh, everybody, where, <laughs> where's the fucking BlizzCon? Here we go. Oh, my God, BlizzCon. Everybody's excited for it. It's coming up now in what? About two and a half weeks? Just the end of October, very beginning of November. Oh, they're going to have a lot of pissed off people showing up. Now, what do you think is going to happen at BlizzCon? I mean, one of the things you have to understand is they, they, they've they been doing just retarded shit. They've been banning people. They've been refusing to let them delete their accounts. They're letting China handle their PR statements. You've got different casters and you've got different, uh, I, I guess, prominent figures in esports and ever, you know elsewhere uh, releasing statements saying they're walking away from it. They're disgusted with Blizzard. And here comes BlizzCon. And BlizzCon is going to be a shit show. How much of a shit show is BlizzCon going to be? Well, let's take a look at what's going on with uh, people organizing protests for fucking BlizzCon. Apparently, there's an entire subreddit dedicated to this that's working out on de ideas on how to fuck with Blizzard at their stupid little convention. At our protest BlizzCon, ideas to peacefully protest BlizzCon. As you can see, they're, they're trying to uh, come up with ways. Not my suggestion. If you're really going to go to BlizzCon to cause a scene, dress up like Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> dress up like Winnie the Pooh and get your hands on that fucking microphone. That's your best bet. I don't know. Uh, you know, 2.7 2. thousand people. Now, I don't know how many of them are going to go to BlizzCon. But it'd be great if all of them did. 
<laughs> all of them dressed as Winnie the Pooh. Just walk right in there. Fuck them. What are they going to do? And it's not just Redditors. It's not just Blizzard fans that are doing this. You've got actual protest groups that are fucking forming websites to fuck with Blizzard at BlizzCon. The Fight for the Future, which I'm sure is probably funded by fucking Soros. Internet freedom activists call for umbrella protest at BlizzCon opposing companies' Hong Kong censorship decision. Oh, this is going to be a disaster. What a fucking disaster. I just, I want you to picture it. You've got that natural smell that BlizzCon has every year of nacho cheese and ball sacks. It's permeating the air. There's an energy. It's electric. You can feel it on your skin. Everybody's dressed up as their little wow characters. And all of a sudden you hear footfall. You hear the steps, the marching beat of a large group of people coming through the entrance. And what do you see? <laughs> you see 300 Winnie the Poohs. All waving Hong Kong and Taiwanese fucking flags. Marching towards the stage. They don't have enough security to handle that many Winnie the Poohs. They could handle maybe 10 or 20 at most. But here come 300 of them. <laughs> Some even have umbrellas. Oh, I'm looking forward to this. I know that they cast this every year. There's a stream, obviously, for BlizzCon every year. And you just know people are going to <laughs> do retarded shit when they get a chance. And I'm fucking looking forward to it. I'm not sure what's going to happen exactly, but I know I'll be entertained. And I think you will too, chat. I think we're all going to be very entertained with BlizzCon this year. I mean, you can look at past moments when Blizzard has done presentations that have gone south. In fact, why don't we look at the more recent fuck-up by these retards? A nice little compilation clip of what happened just last year with their Diablo announcement. Oh, I know I'm excited. We're all excited to watch that. Let me just uh, pull this up. There we are. I'll make that a little more full screen for you. Let's take a look at uh, the masters of uh, PR relations here, Blizzard, doing what they do best and pissing off everyone. Now I'd like to pass it to my personal spirit animal, the lead game designer, Wyatt Chang. Hello, BlizzCon! BlizzCon, we love Diablo. Just as much as we love China. <laughs> Blizzard fans. Diablo fans. Stand, please, for the, for the Chinese national anthem. You don't get any Diablo footage. Until you salute this picture of Mao Zedong. We love the way Diablo has brought millions of players around the world together to slay demons. Our modern world is an increasingly connected one. Our mobile devices keep us closer than ever to our friends, family, and loved ones. So we knew we want to use mobile devices as the platform for a new Diablo game. I mean, you got to ask yourself, what the fuck were they thinking? What did they what were they thinking for a game franchise that has a history as being a, a PC exclusive, something that that PC gamers love? And they're going, they're going to make it a fucking mobile game. And he gets out there and he acts like this is the best news anybody's ever heard. If you want to know more, we'll be back here on the Mythic stage in just a few minutes. For those of you... I love it. Uh, let me take a little pause here. That's where the my Chinese bosses told me this is where I need to stay silent to have you all applaud for me. Is, is the applause sign not working? Ted, Ted, get backstage and make sure the applause sign is working. It's too silent. You who are here at BlizzCon, thank you. We are going to have... Sorry. <laughs> 
Hey, uh, just was wondering, is this uh, an out-of-season April Fool's joke? <laughs> uh, no, it's, it's, a, it's a fully, uh, fully fledged uh, Diablo experience on, on mobile, which everybody will get to play. Is there any plans to make this playable on PC, or is this strictly mobile forever? Uh, are there any? Uh, yeah, th this the current plan is to be on mobile, both uh, Android and iOS. Uh, we don't have any plans at the moment to do uh, PC. <laughs> do, do you guys not have phones? Yeah, you guys all have phones. Phone. Phone. Right. Are you guys poor? Okay, we all live in San Francisco, and we all have fucking iPhones. I've got an iPhone 17. I built a time machine to buy it. Stop being so fucking poor. And get yourself a mobile phone. That's the only way you're going to play Diablo. Do you, do you not have one, you filthy fucking peasants? Oh, you disgust me. Get away from me. You're getting poor people on me. <laughs> we developed Blizzard games. Brilliant. Now, I'm looking forward to this year. I'm hoping that's what he's going to say when he gets on stage. Let's see if they try to take an ironic humor sort of approach to this. <laughs> he gets up there with a commie flag behind him and starts talking about social credit. I don't know. Or maybe, better yet, could we make it a three-peat? Could this year, could the red shirt man be a Winnie the Pooh cosplayer? Could he get up there with a jar of honey and start shit-talking them? I've never watched a bear get beaten down by security. I'm kind of curious what that would look like. All right, you know, real talk. Tasers can't get through felt. So if you got a big, clunky Winnie the Pooh costume, security can't take you down. you got a good 20 to 30 seconds of them trying before they're going to rip your head off, your mascot head off, and beat you down to drag you out. That's 20 to 30 seconds to shit on Blizzard on a mic that they'll be unable to oppose you. Just make it extra thick. Our poo boy here is a thick motherfucker. Extra thick so they can't stop it. <laughs> so there's nothing they can do to make it end. Oh, I'm enjoying the shit out of this. I got to be honest with you, chat. It's been uh, pretty spectacular the last four days, three days, whatever, however long it's been going on, to watch one company continually fuck itself up. In fact, while we talk about this, let's, uh, let's, where's his kinky outfit? There we go. I want that up on screen. Look at that sexy boy and his gimp leather. The leader of China with his uneven pepperoni nipples that are inverted. How do your tits go inward? I don't know. His nipples point towards his lungs. He figured a way out. Maybe it's that communist magic I'm unaware of. Tight leather pants. It's where he keeps the extra communism. You know, Marxist always has to have a little extra communism on him. He puts it in his pants. Lets it get nice and humid down there. Pulls it out when he needs to convert some people. <laughs> oh, Blizzard. You eternal fuck-ups. What are you doing? You know, I, I, I just, I'm going to go with my gut on this. I think that statement released by, uh, quote-unquote, uh, Alan, you know, the guy in charge of Blizzard, wasn't released by him. Or at least not entirely. I think it was co-written by somebody at a Chinese company. I think that Chinese company is who they're doing business with to get the in to China, whether that's Tencent or NetEase or whoever. I think it had to get an okay before it was talked about. And what's Blizzard's apology when they come to the public? For being uh, pussies, spineless, traitorous pussies. They get on their knees to suck Chinese dick when they're told to. Is one, to deny that China had anything to do with it, which is bullshit. Is two, not to reverse their decisions but instead to try to meet people in the middle. Oh, it's only a six-month ban now. And then they didn't even address the shoutcasters. They tried to act like the shoutcasters were complicit. Oh, my God, they let somebody say something on their stream. What? How do you think a, a fucking stream works? Do you think shoutcasters are, like, standing three inches in front of the motherfucker they're interviewing? <laughs> Reading lips? Are they psychic? Are they going to read his mind before he says something? Uh, what do you should they have should the shoutcasters have beaten him with a baseball bat for daring to say that about Hong Kong for not honoring glorious China? But no, they they deserve a, a six month suspension after making them 
literally go on stream and cry about how it was the end of their uh, uh, their business. The end of the, the thing that they've worked, I don't know how many years, building up. Because Blizzard is wholly owned and wholly subservient to their Chinese overlords. What is with American companies bending the knee like this? What is with these corporations being so weak-willed and so spineless and so terrified? They see the amount of money over there. They don't give a shit. When you hear a Hollywood movie talk about how much money it's going to earn, they don't even care anymore about the opening weekend. They don't care about the uh, uh, domestic box office. Not even really the international box office. They always talk about, oh, when is it going to open in China? That's where the money's made. And video game companies apparently are no different. Blizzard and Activision want into that market. They will do fucking anything to get into that market. It represents more money to them. And whatever sacrifices they have to make, they're willing to do. And it's disgusting. It's, it's disgusting watching Apple do it. It's disgusting watching Google do it. It's disgusting watching the NBA do it. And to see Blizzard Activision do this is pathetic. So when BlizzCon comes up in two and a half and three weeks, I know the internet forgets shit very quickly. Who knows if anybody's going to remember, but I know there's got to be one autistic motherfucker out there that's going to live stream himself dressed up like Winnie the Pooh, holding an umbrella. And really, at the end of the day, I think it's worth it. (laughs) I know I'm going to get a laugh out of it. I'm sure most other people will too. Now, I, I, I'd almost wager, Blizzard won't say anything more about this. They think that what they've said is enough. They think that what they've done is enough. But if people keep shitting on them, if they're constantly getting fucked with on their own forums, in their own Twitch streams, at their own events, at their own conventions, you'll drive them insane. <laughs> they're going to start to fucking hate Hong Kong just on principle, just to spite you. Politics aside, you're going to drive them mental. And that's going to be entertaining to me, at least. I don't know, chat. I'd love to watch... Uh, what What is his full name? Oh, I don't even have it up here anymore. J. Allen. J. Allen Brack. I would love to watch J. Allen Brack go fucking Looney Tunes and just start running around the Blizzard campus with his shirt and pants off screaming about Taiwan number one. <laughs> just fucking completely unhinged. He's lost his shit. He can't even... He can't cope with normal life anymore. Just J. Allen Brack, the leader of fucking Blizzard Entertainment in Irvine, California, running around screaming shit like this. Taiwan number one! Taiwan number one! And he told me about something about, like, Taiwan number one! You same guy! Taiwan number one! Yeah, that's me. Taiwan number one, fuck you! China number four! Japan number two, Taiwan number one! Oh my god, Chinese number one, USA number two, Russia number two, USA number number eight, okay? Taiwan number three, fuck you, baby! It's a dream of mine. I don't know if it'll happen, but... If it does, I hope somebody puts it up on the internet so we can all watch it on stream together. <laughs> enjoy, enjoy that shit happening. All right, we've been going for about an hour here. I'm going to take a small break, a small five-minute break. I'll put on a little comfortable music in the back. You know, I'll put a ramarama in the background. I'll come back, talk a little bit more about this. I'll get to the Super Chats. I've seen them come through. I'll, I will read them all. I always do. But uh, let's, let's do a small break here. Let me grab a drink. If you got to go take a piss, you got to go take a dump. If you got to go take a dump, print out a picture of fucking Blizzard first and coat, <laughs> line your toilet with it. Try to bullseye that. All right, put J. Allen Brack's picture right, right in the, the very bottom of the bowl and see if you can just drop a deuce right in his mouth. He'll appreciate it. <laughs> He's used to eating shit. He does business with the Chinese. So let me, let me pull up uh, some Rama Rama. And uh, we'll do a small break. 
you shouldn't be Rama Rama chat. Shouldn't be sniffing that petrol. It's a dangerous thing to do. We all we all like that gasoline high. But you don't want to be Rama Rama. I love that fucking PSA. It's right up there with uh, Pooh and the Lou from India. I don't know. It's a toss-up. Pooh and the Lou from India or Rama Rama from Australia. It's one of the two for the best PSA songs that have ever been made. Well, I mean, technically, Pooh and the Lou was made by UNICEF. So I guess I can't count it. I don't know. I'll count it anyway. Fuck it. YOLO, what are you going to do? How are you going to stop me? <sighs> Fucking Blizzard. I, I hope uh, I hope more of our amazing uh, gamers out there rise up. And, and uh, yeah, I'm not saying to do this, but apparently it's very effective. <laughs> I, I wish I knew what the end of this conversation was. How do you how do you respond to that? What's what are you going to say back to that? Like what what's the uh, the employee manual say? Is there a training course specifically for it? I wonder. Probably not. They're probably straight up fucked. Oh, let's see. Let me. I got some stream labs here. Let me read these real quick. <clears throat> uh, hey Jim, please call Briar a nigger for me. YouTube won't let me donate super chats. I wonder why. Check out my video on Mother's Basement for some quality cringe. My channel is uh, GJ Smith on YouTube. From Hellsnake, stop scrubbing this chat, China. You need to fuck off. And from AT, or AT, or A2P, I want to be clear, Ellen muffled while flatiating uh, Z's teeny weeny pecker. Our relationship with China has no influence on our decision. He moaned while getting gangbanged by 10 cent employees. You know, hey, who doesn't like a hot, hot, wet and wild, <laughs> hot, wet and wild porno scene with J. Allen Brack from Blizzard getting gang banged in every hole by 10 cent employees. Now, if you want to make some protest art, there you go, gamers. <laughs> draw a picture, draw a picture of the leader of Blizzard getting his holes stuffed by the Chinese. I mean, it's a it's a realistic depiction. I'm sure you could get some credit for it in an art course. It's a real-life painting. I mean, we all know it happens in the boardroom. He loves taking that dick. Oh, let me, let me adjust this. Now, I plan on uh, following this. I, I, my, my guess is... I, I, I mean, I can't imagine... Could Blizzard be stupid enough to do more retarded shit over the next week or two? Yes. Uh, they're fucking dumb. So it's a high probability they might. Uh, could funnier things happen? Of course. Uh, but I will be paying attention to it. And I probably will stream when BlizzCon happens. Just on the hope that a bunch of Winnie the Poohs show up. I know it's an outside chance. I know there's no guarantee we're going to get a legion of Pooh Bears. But if it does happen, I will be so fucking happy. So, what is that? From October 31st to, what, November 2nd? I will uh, be paying attention to BlizzCon. So I'll probably do a stream then. Now, if Blizzard fucks up even more, I'll do another stream in the interim. Uh, and just keep following along. Uh, upcoming stuff, I've got a video coming out tomorrow on BitChute. BitChute link is in the description of this particular stream if you want to see where they are. Uh, it's going to be trans-tastic. I can't really talk about what the video is about. I'll get banned, and I can't really even show you anything from the video. I will immediately get banned on YouTube for doing that. <laughs> There's no way they're going to let me uh, show you a clip of what's coming up. But that will be tomorrow evening on BitChute, uh, the first uh, video in the trans-tastic series titled How the Sausage is Made, I'll let you put together what that's going to be about. In fact, now that's reminded me of something. That's reminded me. I need to tell you all, Steam, is ha uh, Steam has a sale going on right now. Oh, you like to save those dollary dues? Let me shill a little bit here. They've got some amazing bargains, a sale to die for. You'd be suicidal not to take them up on these offers. Maybe you want to play Hell Let's Loose or Adult Swim games. Maybe Factory Town's more your speed. Or... Up to 41% off all those LGBTQ plus games. 41% off on those LGBTQ games. That's a fucking bargain. Now, I don't know why Steam picked that number, but I I guess it's just what they felt like going with. <laughs> so if you want to play one of those, there you go. Don't forget about it. It's going on right now. All right. Let's, uh, oh, no, that's not what I want. What do I want here? There we go. That's not what I want either. Oh, I'm boomering it up. 
There we are. I'll read the Super Chats now. Uh, thanks for coming out. I hope you all have a wonderful weekend. Video up tomorrow evening. Uh, again, I, I wish I could give you more details on it or even show you some fun clips from it. There's no way. Uh, a few people in chat were asking, where are the videos, Jim? What happened to your channel? I, for the people that are unaware, uh, I removed them. I was getting uh, getting naughty strikes on my videos, so I removed them. And I moved them all over to BitChute, where I can't get them flagged down. And that's where I'm putting all the furry videos and all the trans-tastic videos, all the Sovereign Citizen uh, videos, all that shit. I'll do streams here, and then I'll start putting up trailers for videos that come out here so you know when they're up over there. Uh, either way, for those that stuck around for the stream, have a good weekend. Uh, I'll read the Super Chats now, uh, so give me a second to get those pulled up. And remember to salute glorious communist China. You want to get a high social credit score, chat. You don't want to piss them off. It's going to affect you for the rest of your life if you do. Terrible. Terrible. From Mario Carter 13, me China, me play joke, me suck pee pee, do not choke. And we've got a regular poet here. From Gree People, Taiwan number one, Japan number two, USA number three, Russia number four, Furries number six, Dingus Khan number seven, China number eight, and Zane number nine. From Veggie Bad, May Skin is Liberty Prime or Winnie the Pooh? I, you know, I want to see May dressed up as Winnie, to be honest with you. From Mario Carter 13, Four is considered an unlucky number in China because it is sound similar to the Chinese word for death. Taiwan number one, China number four. From B. Valento 591, Blizzard needs some integrity. I think they've got plenty of integrity right now. <laughs> they must be high if they think this PR maneuver is going to work. From Shane Allen, Jim wanted me to tell everyone to buy a hat for glorious capitalism. Oh, I love selling hats. We all know it. If you want to buy a glorious hat to teach those those communist motherfuckers a lesson or two. It's made in only the finest of sweatshops, with the tears of orphans helping to hold the uh, the embroidery in place. The link is in the description. From Dante, there's a shooter at my school. Please send help. Well, Dante, you sent that an hour ago. You're probably dead now, but thanks for the money. From Too Spoopy for Me, man. Uh, Rip Boogie, 1488. From Metacore's Lunicorn Archives. Hong Kong 2019 is worse than Hong Kong 1997. Where is Chin when you need him? From Black Cube Mystery, Israel, number none. Moderator Marcy, first Blizzard had bad WoW connection issues earlier this year. Now this media disaster. Gamers rise up. For Blizzard is over party. From the Belchoff, reminder, the Metacast is brought to you by Blacked. Use promo code JIM for 14.88% off your subscription. Too spoopy for me, man. Hentai for Hong Kong, revolution of our age. James Phoenix, Taiwan number one, retards rise up in the chat. From Ken, I don't know a single person who's try or still playing Blizz games in my personal life anymore. This isn't a boycott. Everyone is just so disgusted with Blizzard that they want nothing to do with them anymore. Yeah, I'm trying to think, you know, Diablo 3 was shit. Uh, you've got people playing WoW, I guess. I don't know how popular Overwatch is anymore at this point. It seems like most of the player base got driven away by the ridiculous shit they've been doing with character balance and uh, their ban-heavy bullshit. I'm not sure. From Hands Handsome, do you guys not have Chang? Do Lao Mai Bufongs? <laughs> okay, all right, well, let me, oh, I've got to refresh here. Sorry, chat. One moment. Let me. Let me make sure I didn't lose any here. I think I'm caught up now. All right. Where are we? Uh... <laughs> okay. All right. Uh... Where is it? Uh, from Moderator Marcy, I believe Jade is number one best Asian. Can I get a number one in chat, please? I say again, a number one in chat for the Asian waifu Jade. From Enki Dorado, better dead than red. From Jessica Ustis, better dead than red. Well, you like that. Uh, you know what? Uh, let me. Uh, I'll put some Liberty Prime on again for a second. Why not? Uh, you can find this. I'll, I'll put the link out for it later on, too. People, I guess, were having difficulty finding it. Uh, here's a little more Liberty Prime teaching those filthy communist bastards a lesson. Liberty Prime is online. All systems nominal. Weapons hot. Mission the destruction of any and all Chinese communists. America will never fall to communism.
Terrorist invasion. Obstruction detected. Composition. Titanium alloy supplemented by photonic resonance barrier. Probability of mission hindrance. Zero percent. Democracy is non-negotiable. Death is a preferable alternative to communism. Communist detected on American soil. Lethal force engaged. Tactical assessment. Red Chinese victory. Impossible. Communism is the very definition of failure. Communism is a temporary setback on the road to freedom. Embrace democracy or you will be eradicated. Democracy will never be defeated. I'm sure somewhere in the background there's a man, a man in a bad fake mustache with a hat named, uh, <laughs> named, uh, let's see, Rod, uh, Powards asking you to buy a copy of Fallout. I don't trust him. I, I don't trust that guy, but I'm sure he's out there somewhere. From uh, James Stevens, Medicare, you whore it. Been three weeks, put the video up. Uh, video's coming out tomorrow. Jet Set Tomato, 59th anniversary of uh, Atoya Yamaguchi's assassination of Kami in Japan. Press F to pay respect. I believe you're talking about that. Is that the one where the dude runs at the guy with the katana? And he guts him on stage in front of the entire audience? Oh, can I find a video of that? Oh, YouTube will probably fucking pull me off if I show that video. It's a little it's a little man running with a sword and guts him right in front of the audience. From Zerdart, red is better dead. Hurry up and wait. Communism is for knee gears. James Phoenix, trigger the Zangs, own the Zangs. From Graf Von Trill, shame on China, shame on Blizzard, shame on the NBA. Shame on Disney, shame on Tiffany. Shame on all the other companies that came to China outside of Chinese territory. Liberate Hong Kong. A revolution of our time. From, oh, this is uh, from Nigger1488. Great username. Excellent choice. <laughs> the Jews and Chinese are rats. All righty then. From Dear Propaganda, thoughts on the new Joker movie. I actually haven't had a chance to, to go see it. I enjoyed shitposting about it, but I haven't had a chance to go watch it. From another, uh, another other man. 420 Blizzard couldn't resist. From Gojira, play Ronald McDonald Playhouse Massacre for a palate cleanser. From Carnizzle, funny how politics is and video games only matters when it offends the red state. The real Saint Sweetie Squad, rise up. From Eric Johnson, down with Chinese communism. Refined Valley Dude, my friends and I am not misunderstanding Chinese culture. Why Han Zhang study 18 hour academic success, follow example. From Cody Rush, Jim, I don't mean to get into your personal life. You're just a guy I watch when I'm done with work to laugh and escape from real life. But my girlfriend is Chinese, and she, and she was laughing with you the whole last stream. So what ethnicity is Jade? Well, she's the kind that's kept in a dog cage, and I only let out because she screams loudly. In fact, I don't. She can't go on the internet. You know, if if your uh, your girlfriend's Chinese, have you ever watched your girlfriend's interactions with other Asian people on the internet? The most racist people on earth are Asians towards other Asians. It still amazes me. I she can't she, she can't have like a Twitter account or a Facebook account. She gets banned instantly for her hot takes on different uh, Asian ethnicities. From Grody Grungus, well, I for one welcome our new Chinese overlords. May they reign over us for a thousand trine. Did they buy it? Can I have that Chinese money now? From Lou Raquel. Got to add Taiwan number one to the intro. Rex Remedy. Will World War III be a CO2 neutral? Well, if you eat bugs like I'm doing. All right, here's my idea of what the future is going to be like for us. Wake up in the morning and your cold little cell. Your little cell is going to be like a, a concrete tube. You have no lights on. And you walk to work eight miles. You want to be CO2 neutral. Don't want those greenhouse gases. Don't use a car. You walk to work. You work at Amazon. You get into your wagey cagey because Amazon employs cages for their employees. And you work your 12-hour shift. Then you walk home eight miles to your cold, lightless, concrete tube. 
And that's when you sit down and enjoy a nice meal of maggots and flies. That's our future. And with that kind of future, yes, the World War III will be CO2 neutral. So congratulations. From Alu Katbar, Jim is a monster song. Cat Allah is great. Padre speaks Hong Kong number nothing. From Mexican-American male, saw Joker, he literally rose up in the film. NNRW. From Ninja Work 111, to be honest, I'm stunned. They gave him his money back considering how invested Blizzard is with Tencent. It's not good enough, but it means they're scared. From Graf Von Trill, to go with my past Super Chat, South Park has gained points in my book. For to go 2-2, I can't wait for BlizzCon. New WoW expansion shall be Mists of Pandera 2.0. From Brian Tom, Jim is about to go full mad history teacher prepare. Press 1 to spit on Blizzard. From Cy Brav. Wow, defectors are welcome to join Guild Wars 2. From Cindy Cole's pre- uh, please impregnate me even though my tubes are tied. From Winter Wolf. Jim, does your bully cabal have Chinese or a strong China branch? Uh, well, no. You know, recently we branched out into the incels. Okay, here's how the bully cabal works. We're out there networking with everybody. And when we saw the popularity of Joker, we decided to partner up with the incels. In fact, we even made a promo clip. <laughs> Thank you for the segue. Uh, you know, for, for part of the part of the uh, bully cabal, we're always expanding. Incel market's hot right now with the Joker film. Uh, so, you know, let me play the new ad. The new ad from our partners in the bully cabal from the incels. I think you'll like it, chat. Women are like dogs. Now, what do I mean? You have to treat them like you would treat a dog. You ever go up to a dog and you're afraid of the dog and the dog senses it and the, and the dog gets up and smells the fear coming off of you and starts barking at you and snarling at you and showing its teeth and it's pissed off at you and doesn't like you. And you're like all insecure and tentative like, uh, uh, I'm sorry, hi, can, can I get you a drink? I, I, I just want to be friends, please don't bite me. And what's that woman gonna do? She's gonna snarl at you. She's gonna look at you like, ew, creepy, ew, rough. If you're firm and self-confident, they respond. They get relaxed, see? Just like dogs. You go up to a dog, you know, a big, mean Doberman pincher, right? Or, or, or whatever, some Germanic, uh, what's it, Rottweiler, right? Or a pit bull, you know? You go up to that dog, you know, and you say, hey, don't fuck with me, dog. So that's what you have to do. You have to treat women like dogs. You know, it's, <laughs> it's you always got to be out there networking. <laughs> always got always to be out there networking. There you go. <laughs> Welcome to the bully cabal. Ah, another one. Uh, will you ever do a stream or be a guest with Blackbuster Critic and crap on Deviant Fartis? I, is he still around? I thought he left the internet like a while ago. I know there are a lot of mirrors of his stuff up there, but I don't know if he's still around. Uh, tell daddy how big you are. Blizzard to Hong Kong, do you guys not have freedom of expression? From James O'Shaughnessy, if rumors are to be believed, Taiwan number one. From Biddy Bebus, Daddy Jim, I've been a fan since Tumblrisms, and I'm finally giving you my shekels. Keep fighting the good fight. Love you, man. From Waxigan, found the clip I mentioned last time. Videos called Asian Andy and Baked Alaska Eat with Loud Super Chats. Time stamped at 7.10. From White Void 43, NBA and Blizzard, we're sorry, Chairman Winnie the Pooh. Please give us your Chinese dongs. From Frank the Tank 1218. Bobby actually put out the hit on Epstein. He hired a tall, bald man in a suit with a barcode tattoo on the back of his head to strangle him. From Gabe uh, Washerit. Uh, are you positive Jade isn't actually Chinese? I think you need to bring it up to her. Well, you know, there. You know, I, I, sometimes I wake up in the middle of the night and she's saluting a red flag. And she's talking in a weird language to a man named Chang. Maybe you're right. Lifeless loser. What's some good scary movies to watch this month? Funny or actually good? Also, do you think humanity will be around in 1,000 years or are we doomed? I have no idea if humanity will be around in 1,000 years. And I'm not really watching scary movies at the moment. I've been watching some anime. Because I am a fucking weeb. Uh, in fact, you know, let me see if I can find the name of the anime I've been watching. Give me one second. Let me see if I can find it. There was one recently that I actually was enjoying. Uh, and see if I can find the name of it. Uh, yes, Ascendance of the Bookworm. Or Ascendance of a Bookworm. It's actually one of those, oh, I'm in a foreign, 
I, I, I died. Now I'm in uh, Elf World. That's not a, with a OP protagonist that uh, shits lightning and his piss can uh, crack the world in half. So it looks like it might actually be entertaining. We'll see. Could be total shit. Uh, tell Daddy how big you are. You were the chosen one, Bobby. It was said you could destroy the degenerates at Blizzard, not join them. Bring balance to the games industry, not leave it in darkness. From Ken, how the fuck is Viacom the only one that told China to go to hell? More than just South Park made fun of China this week on Viacom's programming. From Dick Rambone, I tricked a Chinese exchange student into believing that a tall black or all tall black people were all named Tyrone. He then called our protractor or our proctor Tyrone right to his face. Almost called him a protractor. Uh, job well done. That'll lead to some funny shit later on. You should bring him to Compton, see how it goes. From Will Ross, good song for breaks. Actually, it was a big hit in Honk Honk. I'll take a look. From Double A, two characters in Overwatch Blizzard said were gay aren't gay in China. Tracer and Soldier 76. You know, now that you brought that up, shit, I forgot one thing. Let me see if I got this. Uh, let me see if I can find it. One second. Uh, did I not include it? I might not have included it. Oh, well, it was it was some bit from League of Legends. Uh, they had made a statement basically sucking Chinese dick as well, which is not surprising because Riot is owned 100% by Tencent. From Loric Project, N-Word Clown Rise Up. Axis 1247, someone get this monkey boy spamming in the chat about Vic to go enjoy a Chinese gulag. From Jim McFillin, uh, here's some dollary dues. Tell Tim he is a potato knicker. Mr. Zeke Blostein. I'm just a regular white man from a regular family who decided to take a stand to ensure a future for my people. Shooters rise up. Well, enjoy your time getting visited by the FBI, Mr. Zeke Blostein. Anthony Siebert, they said, uh, oh, they side will fuck up Taiwan number one. Graf Von Trill, Team Fortress 2 is better than Overwatch any day. May is pretty cool for joining the Hong Kong protest, though. Uh, thank you, Sha uh, Shane and Frosty Brian. No message, but nonetheless. JD1989, thank you for fighting the communist scum, Jim. You're doing the Lord's work. From Take uh, Minakata, Bobby Kotick, a.k.a. Vladimir Harkonnen. From Mike Tested, hey, Jim, did you hear that SpongeBob offends college professors now because they take the show too seriously, claiming it is racism and violence? Well, they sound like fucking idiots. It's SpongeBob SquarePants. Lighten the fuck up. <laughs> How are you getting offended by SpongeBob? From Ken, nothing but Blizz leaving China would fix their image. From Zane0013, dig us and peep two of the best basketball American glow-in-the-dark nibbers. I know always Bing Bing a wooing in the Death Star cuddles from Daddy Zane. From Julie Jinx, I hope you get my name right this time. I plan to use this clip of you saying it for date night. Please don't make me replace your voice with the guy who does conservative resurgence again. From Kara Face, Hong Kong protesters did Fortnite dances in front of the pol uh, police station. <laughs> Google it! Did they really? Oh, is there a clip of that? Let me see if I can find a clip of that. Now you, I, 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 I really don't know. They might have done that. Let me see if I can find it. That'd be pretty amazing if they did. Uh, okay. Hong Kong. <laughs> Hong Kong protesters. Fort night dancing. See if we if that pulls anything up. I'm not I'm not pulling anything up directly on, on YouTube. But God forbid you try to look something up on fucking YouTube nowadays. Everything gets censored, so you're never gonna find what you're looking for. Maybe for the next stream. Uh, where is it? Graf Von Trill. Blizzard is still cute for thinking that Overwatch is an esport, especially after they let StarCraft die and killed the heroes of the storm scene on purpose. From Bubblegum Gun, Taiwan equals gay <laughs> equals gay China. Honestly, buck both the commie uh, chanks and the liberal Taiwan cucks. Sorry, but democracy is just a code word for Jewish status quo. From Shane Quigley, N. KTTK, Gunt Gang, rise up. From Ronson, freedom is cringe and blue-pilled. Communism is based and red-pilled. From Bernie Powers, who would have thought that Gamergate 2 would also end up being World War Three? Looks like Sargon got his uh, wish. Uh, I can hear him schmuckling already. Oh, Jim, you should have listened to me. The liberalists and UKIP fell apart, but I was right about Gamergate 2. It's only it's only a matter of time before Trump tweets it. From Bubblegum Gun, democracy is communism. Karl Marx, same coin, goys. 
from Zane0013, China is Ash, ahoy, Taiwan number one, all hail Death Star, a woo, from Sarah H. So all we have to do to get Hillary Democrat symbols banned in the U.S. media is to get their image banned in China first, then it'll be banned in the U.S.? Well, see, now you're now you're doing 42-dimensional chess. I don't know. You give it a shot, though. From Bubblegum Gun, uh, GIR309 is a faggot. Democracy is not liberty. CMM. From Niu CA, our relationships in China had no influence on our decision and nothing happened at Tiananmen Square. From Fuck You Google. So uh, whatever happened with Jeffrey Epstein's case? Well, after Jeffrey Epstein was murdered in his jail cell while his guards were asleep and the cameras broken, the case quietly disappeared. Because fuck you, rich people never get in trouble. From St. Nicholas, Fook, China. From Wanism, uh, my Chinese Christian girlfriend fled her country to escape the CCP is listening to you roasting them, and my country is a third world, or third world South American hellhole. Should tell you how nice things are, or how nice the things are over there. Wow, it's always fun to roast the commies. Fuck you, Google. Taiwan number one from SNGB. Chinese man or waste of time. Play PS2, not study differential equation. 18 hours a day. I'm not allow. From Bubblegum Gun. Gur309 eats foreskin chips. Why are you gay, my dude? Apparently, Gur and Bubblegum Gun have something going on in chat. From NZ Family and Archie. Uh, Xiao Nima. I'm not even sure what you're asking me to say. I made this username really long on purpose. A Blitz should donate those prize winnings from Blizzard to a pro Hong Kong charity. From Brian Tom. Oh, no, 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 no. Look at this goo K. Pro Truth Anti Media Archive. Google Israel China Tech Trade or Israel China Belt and Road. The real story is that Israel is selling all our tech to China. And when we lose our high tech edge uh, to them, we're done. From Forgone. False apologies. Sloppy job, Masai Chinaman. From Rando number nine. Liang Wian wrote the letter. Billy Walker, today is my Chinese girlfriend's birthday. Do you think she will be mad if I play Warcraft all day? I don't know. Take the risk. Go for it. From Goldie, how do you feel about Sonic Fox political statement at Evo in relation to the Blitz uh, statement? I, I don't even know. He gave a statement. <laughs> what, did he have a time machine? How? Oh. I'll go I'll go take a... Or are you asking how do I think they really... I don't, what did Sonic Fox say? I know Sonic Fox is a furry... Did he make a furry political statement? Did he ask us all to yiff him? Did he get up there and kick everyone's ass in Mortal Kombat and say, please yiff my tight little ass? <laughs> I, don't know. I don't know what he said. From Gaming Dap, correction, you nut drip, Blizzard Activision. From Jono Mate, China, where the market is free, but the people aren't. From Nick Gers, the ROC is rightful, uh, is rightful China, number one. Bolt Knuckle, can't wait till Blizz scrubs May from Overwatch entirely in glorious China because she's being used as a pro Hong Kong icon. From Super Hanky 2, Taiwan number one. Nick Spence, China no have nothing to do with the young. <laughs> China have no nothing to do with you, you no brain. From Moist John, bring back Hwok. Did you see my tweet of Blizzard's official statement? Uh, no, I didn't. And I, I know I'm saying Hwok like it's Guac. I don't know how to pronounce that. But now I'm thinking of Jeb Bush, and I want Jeb to run. <laughs> Jeb will teach him a lesson. He'll build us a wall made of little guac bowls and protect us from those Chinese. Blade of War 94, we should get Hong Kong to use Liberty Prime from Fallout as their mascot. From Sweetest Sadist, Epic Games would like to formally thank Blizzard's commitment to bringing everyone together with Epic Entertainment. We look forward to extra traffic to our games that they'll receive as your company tanks. From Zane0013, please tell Christina that her small woman brain can't comprehend the fact that she is a bun-bun ear-spreading hoochie. Cuddles. From Padre Speaks, hello, I'm from the Internet Video Prizings. Can I interest you in a video prizings from your internet better than your current prizings? Well, yes, you can, Chang. From Metacor's Lunicorn Archives, the year is 2019, a wave of ugly fucking censorship is rushing from China. Censorship has skyrocketed, entertainment is ruined. Therefore, the U.S. government called John Wick's relative gamer for the massacre of Chinese censorship. From D.D. Ewan, Ether, LGBT shirt plus free Hong Kong sign equals media meltdown. I made this username really long on purpose. Dressing as poo, fur fags finally coming in handy. You know what? Yeah, for once in their lives, 
all the fur fags out there can finally can finally have their moment to shine. <laughs> so we get a bunch of drugged up diaper furs to dress as Winnie the Pooh and make BlizzCon the most uncomfortable fucking thing that's ever happened. I'm talking to all you rainforest fucks out there that were throwing shitty diapers on cars. You need to go to BlizzCon. <laughs> you need to go to BlizzCon dressed as Winnie the fucking Pooh and make everybody super uncomfortable. From Greater Gerbil, uh, no message on that one, unranked Chevron. Wait till all these people upset at China's influence on media. Learn about China's influence on natural resources and utility companies around the world. Foxman2248, the Pooh Bear Battalion, the Soldier, Invade China World War Three now. Marty Fly, can you play the Pikachu Hell March? Imagine that, but Pooh Bears. Uh, well, you know what? Let me see if I can pull it up. Pikachu Hell March? All right. Well, let's see if we can find it. Oh, there are a couple Pikachu Hell Marches, but, uh, all right. So you're imagining this particular scenario, but with Pooh Bears instead at BlizzCon? Is that what you're telling me? All right, let's take a look at what uh, our chatter wants to happen. Uh, just replace Pikachu, obviously, with uh, Pooh Bears. go chat uh there you go super chat uh i don't i don't know i don't know how they react to hell march in particular uh, given the franchise it's from but uh, why not why not go for the gold uh, from never so clever as this if you hadn't heard i highly suggest finding the crowdsourced anthem of hong kong also justice for peter cozy from double o boogie trolling biz or blizzard could redeem furries from angry emu the Chings have really been at it lately. Counter Strike Winnie the Pooh is the only or er, is now the only acceptable furry at BlizzCon. From Omegas 13, the 3NG Rish and Wrong Data equivalent to blinking SOS and Morse code. Blizz has been hijacked by Chicoms and purple haired loons. Brack is screwed. From Alexander Gro Hamilton, communism using capitalism to defeat it. We have a social credit score just as much as China. It just isn't enforced by the government yet. From Rakist News, go check out Rakist News, because we're all the little racists, according to CNN. From Commiebot 5000, is China the Jews of the 21st century? Wonton number one. From James or Jamie Schneider, what if Blizz changed skeletons in WoW Classic because they're afraid of users spelling out Taiwan number one? You figured it out. Now we know why they've been doing it. From Possum King, Pooh Bear's Prez leather pants equal where the Jew hides. Oh, well. Oh, I took that down from the screen. I should put that back up. Actually, what's the other? I had the, uh, I had the other one. There we go. There we go. For a change of scenery. From Graf Von Trill, China acts as if they sniff petrol from a can. They're more delusional than those banderas. From Victor Phantasm, Dong Dong, where's my American company? From Ebola Morph, China eat de poo poo. China is sh I don't know, shitna from possum. Okay, there we go. All right, I got a little reverse there. Jet Set Tomato. How does Jade feel about mainland Chinese? I'm not a fan. From Victor Phantasm. Boss, when are you leaving New Somalia for Texas? Hopefully soon. From Greepol. Uh, Rama Rama number one. The Great Con. My mom and dad broke up. What do I do? Uh, just remember, it's your fault. And uh, to make the sadness go away, go do a Fortnite dance in the front yard. Until your father hugs you. You need to floss until daddy hugs you. From Victor Phantasm. Boss, you need to do a strike. You need to strike a deal with Violent J. Maybe you can get a clown tribe and furry tribe to drive BlizzCon mad. From Jamal Al Serif. Can you put the positivity video on alternative YouTube? I love showing that one to my friends. I will put it up. I will do um, modern day cookout and positivity. 
because those kind of go hand in hand. From Max 15, oh my God, China number one. From Creighton Sai, I don't know about that, Jim. The hot drinks, <laughs> the hot drinks training video is solid gold. Have some New Zealand dollar reduce. From Mitchell McCallum, how can people watch what you put on? Uh, how can people watch what you put on an H1Z1 video and still believe that Asians are high Q, are high IQ? China has some of the most impulsive people on the planet. From Bavlantio, 591, Blizzard needs some integrity. Some guy, God dang it, Bobby. From the soldier, the commies are coming to take me away, Ahua. Uh, web Wanderer, remember that supporting liquid thorium nuclear power will destroy China's monopoly on rare earths that are used in all electronic devices. From Nintendo Knot, when's the next video of Furry Pandemonium? Uh, it'll be coming up after the Trans-Tastic video. Uh, ben Cornelius, pee pee poo poo, say it twice, donate it twice, all right? Pee pee poo poo. From Lords of Void, love your work. Very sad day when your videos disappeared on YouTube. I'm excited for your vid. You've made it sound delicious. I don't know about that. Have you ever seen somebody had their tits removed with an ice cream scoop? Lords of Void, because you're going to. <laughs> you're going to watch somebody get their tits scraped out with an ice cream scoop tomorrow. From Moderator Marcy, are you aware that the quartering is planning to go to BlizzCon in a Winnie the Pooh outfit? Well, hopefully a thousand furries join him. From Mundane Ghost, Free Northern Ireland. And from Ollie Sock Puppet, my birthday is coming up. Can I have a hat for my birthday, Daddy Jim? A woo. I, well, I could send you a hat. Sure, hit my uh, good friend up on uh, Twitter, Mr. Anti-Bully. And I'll see if I can... I'll, <laughs> I'll make you a handcrafted hat. I'll stitch it myself. Oh, I'll make my I'll make my Asian slave do it when she's not talking to her Chinese overlords and plotting my downfall. All right, let's see. I'm getting caught up here, folks. Uh, one sec. Uh, from Doom Guy, May posting is like putting crap in Blizzard's Cheerios from their own septic tank. And before May removed from Overwatch, Mark Man, where's the video, Jim? Again, it'll be up tomorrow on BitChute. From Sus, Happy B Day. I want your pee pee. Dante, I'm alive. I hid in the locker. Oh, <laughs> our, our super chatter from earlier, who was in the middle of a shooting, has apparently survived and donated again. Uh, great, great news. Tired bitch. Free my boys, May 2019. Farm Master Flex. Chinese politicians are all members of the People's Lemon Party of China. From Mike Testa. Did you get my SpongeBob chat? Yeah, from earlier, you said college professors were upset at SpongeBob SquarePants for some reason. Not 100% certain why. From RPG or 90, I wish it was Bethesda instead of the Lulz. From uh, Satona, we should have glassed the Reds from the start. Liberty Prime, communism is a very definition of failure. Eduardo Ramirez came for the grooming, stayed for the cringe, thanks. From Merlo Williams, hey boss, what are your thoughts on Augie RFC getting his video struck by Donga's grandma and Gavin McGinnis butthurt at Porcelain's documentary? Well, I, I wouldn't be surprised if... Uh, uh, Donga is out there bashing uh, his caveman rocks together in a rage. Uh, not surprising at all. Is, is he still doing streams to two people? Or has he moved on from that? I don't know. And I heard Gavin got upset at Porcelain for the documentary. <laughs> I heard he was pissed off about it. Uh, didn't he demand to know who Porcelain was? <laughs> Show me your face! Or some shit like that. So uh, I, I don't know what's happened with it recently, though. But I remember hearing about that like I guess it was like a week ago. From uh, Heat Hawk Noob, shame on Disney, shame on Blizzard, shame on the cow. Uh, Bullamorph Chinese government, eat the poo-poo. Caleb Lambright, I missed the stream, have my two dollar, fuck China. From Flapcat, I made pee-pee in my jorts. RPJ, I heard Redpool Jack just fucked you in the ass, Miggy. From Luric L, the Chews fear the samurai. Cake Knight, did you see the video of the lady talking about eating babies at the AOC rally? Had me dying. Yes, I did. Uh, some Swedish chick, right? Citing some Swedish scientists saying we needed to eat babies. <laughs> uh, RPG or 90. Also Japan, gonna die from a coming hurricane. Merlo Williams, would you ever do a stream with Adonis Paul? I I haven't really done streams with anybody in about two or three months. Kind of doing solo shit at the moment and getting caught up on my videos. From the reasonable extremist, Sans is in Smash Brothers. Hello, Jim. Have a good day. From Fataku, Jade is a good girl. Give her walkies and treats and snoot boops. From Sublin, 
China bad, America good. Israel is our greatest ally. Now, excuse me while me and Tyrone and our girlfriend take our kids to the Pride Parade. From Carnuckle Blackburn, sent you a tweet, handle Jacob Blackburn, read it. The UFO answer, BlizzCon needs Kilroy's $30,000 security apparatus. Caleb Lambright, women are like cars, in need of constant maintenance. Mike Testa, Jim do a DPS Spongebob laugh, ack, 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 ack. From Jay, did Blizz kill heroes so Tencent could win with LOL? Uh, you know, that's actually kind of an interesting idea, isn't it? That because the company is involved with, because Tencent's involved with both companies, that they could have asked for one company to kill a product people liked to shift traffic into the other property that they own more of. I don't know. From Mike Testa, call Quentin's reviews as soy boy. MCs rise up. Jeb Bush heard you loud and clear, Jim. I'll run again. From Foxman2248, look up Hong Kong protests performing Fortnite dances in front of Mongok Police Station. It's on Reddit. Freddy Fufu, the ADL and SBLC just announced that Winnie the Pooh is more racist, sexist, and homophobic than Pepe the Frog. From Low Health, this makes my poo moist. Greater uh, gerbil, make Z the HK mascot. <laughs> China will have to censor their own president. And from Alex, stop reading Super Chats. It kills the stream. Well, the stream is done. I did an hour of stream with no Super Chats. You should have shown up for that. But thank you for the $2. From Finchy Bird, shout out to my neighbors at SciTube, end of an era. Mike Tessa, do the topic I brought up. DSP outlives another. He always outlives another. From Cypress Stone, gang gang bang, the Changs. Revitanian, or Reventian, look up Hong Kong Fortnite dances on our Hong Kong. I, I will check it out. And from Red Cell 96, I just knew the master of the internet chaos was going to cover this. I can't wait for you to propel this, <clears throat> all of this into hundreds of dumpster fires. I don't know about that. I think we're caught up now. Uh, let me see. Did I? Oh, one last one came through. Forgone Jim posts the Bitcoin 2017 crash on BitChute. I don't know if I want to. How is, you know, let me check. How is Link doing right now? Are they all millionaires right now? Chainlink's sitting at 250. Oh, it went down 30 cents. Well, hopefully you got your Lambos out while you could. Hopefully you're driving those Lambos to the moon <laughs> while Bitcoin jumps back and forth. All right, chat. I, I'm caught up. Uh, thanks for coming out. Again, uh, video will be up tomorrow over on the BitChute account. If Blizzard fucks up more, I'll cover it as it happens. Here's looking forward to BlizzCon with some retarded shit happening. Who doesn't want to watch that? You know what? i I got to remember to use this. Oh, excuse me. Use this clip more. Where is it? I just had it a moment ago. And now it's gone. Did it self-immolate? Oh, no, there it is. Uh, how are we going to end this? What what should we end out on? Well, I'm gonna end I'm gonna end on this. I'll play a song after it too, why not? But I need to get that promo out there. Again, the bully cabal is expanding. We need to welcome our incel brothers into the click. So let's uh let's throw that promo up one more time, then I'll play some music and we're out. Video tomorrow, and I'll see you on the next stream. Women are like dogs. Now what do I mean? You have to treat them like you would treat a dog. You ever go up to a dog and you're afraid of the dog and the dog senses it and the, and the dog gets up and smells the fear coming off of you and starts barking at you and snarling at you and showing its teeth and it's pissed off at you and doesn't like you and you're like all insecure and tentative like uh, uh, I'm sorry hi can, can I get you a drink I, I, I just want to be friends please don't bite me and what's that woman gonna do she's gonna snarl at you she's gonna look at you like ew creepy ew rough if you're firm and self-confident they respond they get relaxed, see, just like dogs. You go up to a dog, you know, a big, mean Doberman pincher, right? Or, or, or whatever, some Germanic, uh, what's it, Rottweiler, right? Or a pit bull, you know? You go up to that dog, you know, and you say, hey, don't fuck with me, dog. So that's what you have to do. You have to treat women like dogs. Got that. The haters are